As you already know, some interactions in Protopy are static. If you tap this layer, it moves to the static position that you have already chosen. But what if you want to move this layer wherever you tap? To create this kind of dynamic interaction, you would need to use a formula. Let's have a look at how to use formulas in Protopy. Here, I have a simple rectangle layer and a background. When I tap any position on the background layer, I want the rectangle to move to this exact position. First, we add the most basic interaction, a tap trigger for the background layer. Then, we need responses. In this case, I want the rectangle layer to move, but I cannot input a specific position here. Because the move position always changes depending on where I tap. To get a dynamic value, we need to use a formula. First, click this icon here to input your formula. If you don't know which formula to use, click this question mark. You will then find a guide with tutorials for our formulas. Plus, it also lists all the formulas that are supported by Protopy. In this case, we need variables that remember exactly where I tap. By reading the descriptions, I see that these are $touchX and $touchY. Now we've found what we need, let's go back to Protopy Studio. For the X position, we're going to use the $touchX formula. So type dollar first and click on touch X. We do the same for the Y position. So we will use dollar touch Y. And there you go. That's all we need to do. Now the rectangle moves to wherever I tap. So easy, right? Remember, if the property of an interaction changes depending on what you do, you need to use a formula. Thankfully, there are loads of formulas provided in Protopy. For example, with dollar mouse x and y, the objects move to wherever the cursor is hovering even before you click. With dollar touch velocity, you can make interactions that are based on your finger's speed and direction. In this demo, I'm trying to hide or show a search menu bar based on the scroll direction. With dollar touch velocity y, I make sure that scrolling up makes the search menu bar appear, and scrolling down makes it disappear. With dollar keyboard height, you can make the chat window move up based on the height of your native keyboard. In this formula window, you can input text with double quotation marks, color values with hashtag, or numbers and variables simply by typing them in. By clicking this question mark, you can find out all the basic knowledge about our formulas. With Protopy, you can easily create complex interactions using formulas, without writing any code whatsoever. Simple. See you in the next tutorial.